Do you want to create QR code in your WordPress website but don't know how to do that? Well, just follow the video till the end and you will be able to create QR code and insert information like URL, text, WhatsApp number, SMS or email, phone number or anything you want to add in the QR code and user will be access that information by scanning the QR code from the mobile phone. So let's check how you can create a QR code in WordPress. So if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button. So first of all we need to go to the WordPress dashboard and we need to install a plugin. So let's go to the dashboard here. Now let's go to the plugins and let's click on add new plugins. You need to search for QYRR and you will see this plugin QYRR simple and modern QR code creation. So it has around 2000 plus active installations and it is updated three weeks ago. So let's quickly install and activate this plugin here. All right, now the plugin is activated. You will see this option QYRR in the admin mesh section. Now let's create a QR code here. So let's click on add new here. So here you need to set a title. So let me set like QR1 and let's click on the QR code. Here you can set the type like whether you want to redirect the user to a post or a page. So you can link that post here. So just select that post and when someone scan the QR code, it will redirect them to that post or you can use an external link as well. Just enter the external URL here in this field. So suppose I want to redirect this URL, then I will simply copy it and I will paste that external URL like this. So when you scan the QR code, it will redirect to that URL. Now let's click on the general settings here. Now you can change the background color from here like this. So you can choose any color if you want. So suppose I want to use this type of QR code, then you can change that as well. So let me keep it as black. Now you can change the fill color as well. So if you click on here, it will change the fill color here. So let's keep it as white. Default is looking quite good. Now here you can set the minimum version. So if you select like 9, it will show a different QR code. If you set the version 8, then it will looks like this. So you can choose the QR code version from here. So I recommend you to select the QR code version 10. Now you can select the quiet zone here like this. So it will add a border like this. And you can also add a corner radius if you want. So you have all the flexibility to customize the QR code and you can also select the error handling level. So this is basically the way where the QR code works perfectly fine. If the QR code is destroyed or if the QR code is not visible properly, still it will get the information. So for this, you have to scan the QR code at least 30% of the total area. So this is the error handling part. That means it will encrypt that URL in such a way that if you just only scan 30% of the QR code, still it will work. So this is the error handling level. Now let's click on logo. So you can upload your own logo and place it in the QR code and you can also set a label as well. So you can display a label above the QR code. So let's upload our logo from here and let me choose this logo here and let me publish the QR code first. And as you can see that we have the logo placed in the QR code. Now you can adjust the logo size from here like this. So you can increase or decrease the logo size and you can change the position of the logo. So let's keep it 50 50 and you can change the font of this level as well. And you can also download this QR code to your computer by simply clicking on the download button and to download the QR code to the computer. So now you can use the QR code anywhere else or you can use it in your blog post in the sidebar or in the footer section. So all you have to do is copy the short code from here. So let me copy the short code here. Let's hit the update button first. Now let's go back to the dashboard here. Now let's go to the blog post and let's embed that QR code here. So let's click on create new post. You can set the title. So let me quickly add the QR code. So I will click on plus and you can search for QR code selector here and you will select the QR one. In this way, you can select the QR code or you can directly paste the short code from here. So all you have to do is just right click on it and paste the short code that you have copied. And once you added the short code, let's publish and let's check if the QR code is showing or not. 
so let's click on view post and you can see that the QR code is added here like this. So in the same way you can add it in the footer section or in the sidebar just by using the short code. So I hope you have understand how to create a QR code in your WordPress website and in free version you have the limitations but if you go with the pro version then you will get a lot of customization options like you can fully customize its design you can export it in PNG and SVG as well and you can bulk generate QR code and you can dynamically generate QR code for tracking and you can also integrate with WooCommerce so that you can redirect your visitors to a coupon page or user will be able to download the invoice by scanning the QR code. So there are various options that you can explore in the pro version but in free version you have the limitations you can add your email address phone number or you can add your geo location in the qr code using this plugin so if you have any doubt generating qr code in wordpress do let us know in the comment section and if you found this video helpful make sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next one bye bye